ह्यूमन एक्सक्रेटरी सिस्टम The excretory system is a passive biological system that removes excess unnecessary or dangerous materials from an organism so as to help maintain homeostasis or internal environmental balance within the organism and prevent damage to the body it thus forms an important feature of the human anatomy skin plays a minimal role in the human excretory system the skin secretes a fluid called sweat through the sweat glands located in the dermis which carries a small amount of metabolic wastes the process of digestion and absorption releases nutrients into the blood stream but excess nutrients salts minerals water as well as drugs and toxins can also enter the blood stream through the digestive system the cells of the body also release toxic waste products such as ammonia which is converted into less toxic urea by the liver into the blood stream these excess materials drugs toxins and wastes if allowed to build up in the blood stream can threaten an individual's health by throwing off critical chemical balances the blood and extracellular fluid that bathes body cells must have precisely regulated concentrations of various salts appropriate levels of water and dissolved substances and other waste products must not be allowed to reach toxic levels The burden of maintaining a proper chemical balance or homeostasis in the body falls largely on the kidneys. Human kidneys are paired kidney bean-shaped organs located on either side of the spinal column, extending slightly above the waist. The kidneys function as the body's main excretory organ. eliminating the metabolic waste products by filtering the the kidney contains a solid outer layer where urine is formed and a hollow inner chamber called the renal pelvis which is a branched collecting chamber that funnels the urine into the ureter the outer layer of the kidney is divided into fan shaped renal medulla and an overlined renal cortex the kidney is composed of up to 18 lobules Each lobule is composed of nephrons. Nephrons are the functional units of the kidney. Each kidney contains more than 1 million nephrons. Each nephron consists of a glomerulus and a system of tubules. The glomerulus is a unique high pressure mass of capillaries that filters the blood. The glomerulus is encased in a thin double-walled capsule called Bowman's capsule. The space inside the capsule and surrounding the glomerulus is called Bowman's space. Plasma-like fluid is filtered from the capillary blood into Bowman's space through the glomerular filtration membrane. The glomerular filtration membrane consists of three layers of capillary walls: the endothelium, the basement membrane, and the epithelial podocytes. This membrane allows some particles to form the blood to pass through, but not all. The fluid that is filtered from the capillary blood into the Bowman space is called filtrate and forms the primary urine. The filtrate then diffuses across Bowman's space 
and enters the tubule system of the nephron. In the tubules, some substances Now filtered flows from the glomerulus vis-a-vis -vis the afferent arteriole into the peritubular capillary network which is a low pressure reabsorptive system surrounding all portions of the tubules. This arrangement permits rapid movement of solutes and water between the fluid and the tubular lumen. capillaries into Bowman space. From Bowman space, the glomerular filtrate moves into the tubular segments of the nephrons. Here, through tubular reabsorption, electrolytes and nutrients move from the filtrate back into the bloodstream. Through tubular secretion, substances move from the peritubular capillaries into the urine filtrate. The urine, which is a mixture of water, waste, toxins, and some excess nutrients filtered out of the blood, leaves each kidney through a narrow muscular tube called the ureter. Peristaltic contractions drive the urine through the ureter to the bladder, a hollow muscular chamber that collects and stores urine. The walls of the bladder contain smooth muscle capable of considerable expansion. Urine is retained in the bladder by two sphincter muscles located at its base, just above the juncture with the urethra. When the bladder becomes distended, receptors in the walls trigger reflexive contractions. The sphincter nearest the bladder, the internal sphincter, is open during these contractions. However, the lower or external sphincter is under voluntary control. So the reflex can be suppressed by the brain unless bladder distensions becomes acute. Urine completes its journey to the outside through a single narrow tube called the urethra. The human excretory system is thus responsible for the regulation of our body in terms of chemical balances, elimination of wastes and harmful substances and ultimately our good health.